next uh, speaker was a board member of the original Alma Live Committee. She serves as superintendent of Career Tech and has also chaired uh, the education portion of your program for the past two years and hopefully we'll do it another year. And so we're very pleased to have um, Jane Bowen with us. Jane? Barton, uh, made me realize that my husband hasn't been introduced, so I'll tell you this is my better half, uh, Dr. James Bowen, right here. So I appreciate being asked to come out tonight and speak to all of you. It's my honor to be here with a class of people who want to see Northwest Oklahoma succeed, who want to be leaders, who want to step up to the plate and want to do the right things. Very, very proud of you. Um, I just completed a year's uh, stint in Leadership Oklahoma, and I know that you probably feel kind of like I do. I just left 48 dear friends, and if I were guessing, I would say that all of you probably tonight are going to be maybe not leaving, but, but not in touch as much. But I bet you, you have 13 dear friends here that you can call on whenever you need something, if I were guessing. Life is about networking. Um, I want to welcome all of you. Uh, welcome to our Honorable Mayor, to uh, the Bartons, um, and to our last year's classmates. I, says, I think it says a lot when you decide to come to the next year's band, banquet. And I'm really here to commend all of you for taking this year out of your life, out of your family's life, out of your work schedule to complete Leadership Northwest Oklahoma. It's such an honor that I speak to you. And I'm gonna to speak to you today about something that I think is very important, and that is making every day count. You know, you can't change your life until you change something that you do daily. The only adequate preparation for tomorrow is the right use of today. Too often, we get overwhelmed by things that are really out of our our control. We can't do anything about yesterday. The door to the past has been shut and the key has been thrown away. You really can do nothing about tomorrow. It's yet to come. Tomorrow, though, is largely determined by what you do today. I love John Maxwell. If you've read any of his books, uh, I, would, I would recommend any of them to you highly. And in one of his books, he talks about the daily to-dos. And I'm going to share with you four of these to-dos that I think are very important in being a successful leader or a successful citizen. Those four things are attitude. Choose a good attitude and display it always. Relationships. Initiate and invest in them daily. Health. Make a healthy lifestyle part of your life and commitment. Make commitments and keep them. Is it possible to have success without a good attitude? Mm, I think it is, but I don't think you'll enjoy the success. Attitude sets the tone for how we treat others. Smile. Communicate with others. I can tell you that if all things are equal, attitude wins. I can also tell you that all things are not equal, often attitude wins. <clears throat> Say something positive in every conversation. Treat people better than you expect them to treat you. Find something positive in every situation and express gratitude. I want to illustrate this with a story from the little graduation book. There were parents of two identical twin boys, and they were having trouble with those boys' attitude. One of the twins was an optimist. He was always happy and looking on the bright side of things, but the other twin was a pessimist. No matter what happened, the pessimistic son was unhappy. The parents finally decided to consult a psychologist. It was close to Christmas, so the psychologist told the parents to put the boys in different rooms and give them different presents. He told them to give the pessimists 
Son, the greatest presents ever. Video games, electronic cars, Nintendo, everything. And you give the, the optimistic son a bucket full of manure. So Christmas came, and the parents did what the psychologist had suggested. The parents first went to the room of the pessimist, the son who had been given all the fancy presents. And the son was complaining about everything. The video game wasn't the latest, it wasn't the greatest. His friend had a better car, so on and so forth. Then the parents went into the room of their, their uh, optimistic child. And when they entered that room, that child was throwing manure in the air and he was yelling gleefully. And the parents asked that boy, they said, how can you be so happy with a bucket full of manure? And the boy answered, well, I know if there's manure somewhere, there must be a pony. <laughs> so I want all of you to keep looking for the pony. I think when you look at attitude, you're going to realize it's contagious. It is so contagious. Some people are polluters. I bet you know those people. They suck the life out of you. Have you been around them? Nothing. I mean, how was your weekend? It stunk. I mean, nothing. Nothing good. But other people are purifiers. They're people that when you're around them, you feel good. You know those people. They just make you want to be with them. They're smiling. They're happy. They're caring. Um, they're purifiers. So I want to ask you right now, which one are you? I hope you're a purifier. Relationships. I think the key to life is relationships. I don't know where you stand with your family right now. Maybe you have a great family. Maybe you have one that you need to work on. But I want you to know that the benefit of your family is going to give you stability. And, and to get that stability, you're going to have to communicate and care for your family daily, every day. I want you to try and experiment. Make a list of all your birthday presents, your Christmas presents that you received as a kid. And then make a list of the times when you shared activities with your family vacations, your family get-togethers, birthday parties. I would venture to say that most of us remember the experiences we had with our families rather than the gifts. What makes a family happy is not what they receive. It's what they do together. Relationships, very, very important. Health. I think your health impacts you emotionally, intellectually and spiritually. You know, people are so funny. When they're young, they spend their health to get wealthy. And then later they get old and they would gladly pay everything they have trying to get their health back. One day an old couple died in a car wreck. They had been married for 60 years and they were in excellent health due to the wife's insistence that they exercise and eat healthy. In heaven, St. Peter met them at the pearly gates. He ushered them into the mansion, equipped with a massive kitchen, an elegant master suite, and a jacuzzi. This is wonderful, the man said. How much will it cost? Oh, nothing, replied St. Peter. This is heaven. Everything is free. Then St. Peter ushered them outside and showed them their house on this beautiful lake complete with a massive boat and a fabulous boathouse. Oh, this is wonderful, the man said. How much will it cost? Oh, nothing, said St. Peter. This is heaven. Everything is free. Next, they visited the clubhouse, and there was this lavish feast. Everything, lobster, caviar, prime rib, baked bread, desserts that took their breath away. Once again, the man asked, This is wonderful. How much will it cost? Oh, nothing, said St. Peter. This is heaven. Everything's free. Well, then the man said, Where is the locale line? To this, St. Peter replied, Oh, this is heaven. You can eat anything you want and not gain an ounce or never get sick. With this, the man went ballistic. 
screaming and stomping until finally St. Peter and his wife could calm him down. He pointed to his wife and he said, this is all your fault. If it weren't for you and your blasted brand man, Muffins, we could have been here 10 years ago. <laughs> it's important how you take care of your body. Remember, you only get one, so exercise, eat right, and do things in moderation. Commitment. I think all of you have shown a commitment by being part of this class. But I believe that if you want something out of your day, you have to put something into it. Do what's right even if you don't feel like it. Nothing's easier than saying words. Nothing's harder than living them day after day. So I want you to remember the importance of attitude, relationships, health, and commitment. And I want to end with a little poem. This is called The Life Builder's Creed. Today is the most important day of my life. Yesterday, with its successes and victories, struggles and failure is gone forever. The past is past, done, finished. I cannot relive it. I cannot go back and change it, but I can learn from it and improve my day. Today, this moment, now, it's God's gift to me, and it's all I have. Today is what God has entrusted to me, and I will demonstrate the best of me in it, my character, my giftedness, and my abilities. And when this day is done, I'll look back with satisfaction at that which I have accomplished. I want to commend you again for your accomplishment this year and challenge you, challenge you to make every day in your life matter. Thank you.